Well, welcome everybody. Uh, another great turnout. I want to appreciate everybody for taking time out of their day to, to attend us here at Merrill and to celebrate, uh, which is coming to an end already, Manufacturing Month um, here for the state of Iowa. So um, this is great. Thanks, Steve, for opening your doors sure. for us today. Sure. Good welcome. opportunity for us from a corridor level um, and a local level to kind of celebrate, right? Everything that you provide for, for the corridor and the region and the community specifically. So for those who don't know me, my name is Kurt Strouth. I am the new president and CEO of the Lakes Corridor. Uh, it's my honor and privilege to be here. I want a huge shout out to our staff, Joe and Alyssa, wherever they're at. Thank you guys for all that you do to, to do uh, these type of great things and bring, bring awareness to what we're doing. So I'm going to introduce uh, Carrie, who's the Storm Lake City Manager, here to say a few words on behalf of the city, and we'll go from there. So thank you, Carrie. All right. Thank you so much. Hello and good afternoon. I want to say thank you to everyone who drove down to Storm Lake this afternoon, and everybody who is from Storm Lake, it is great to see you again. Um, I want to say thank you for um, having the opportunity to um, have Manufacturing Month celebrated here in Merrill Manufacturing. So thank you very much. We sure, look forward to the it. tour later. Um, Mr. Uh, Anderson is going to give us a, the beginning history um, of Merrill Manufacturing, from the beginning entrepreneurial stages to the global um, you are today. So thank you so much, sure. and um, thank you very much for hosting. We appreciate sure. it. Well, I appreciate you, you know, coming and visiting us and everybody coming and, and give us the opportunity to give you a better idea of who we are and what all we do. But uh, uh, <coughs> first of all, I guess I'd like to introduce <coughs> some of our staff. We've got uh, Kaylin, our Director of Operations, Ophelia, our Director of uh, HR, and uh, Terry, who is our Director of Sales. And we've got others, but of course, uh, you know, the other responsibilities are probably not with us. But but anyway, really, it, they talk about uh, the history. I guess the, it's kind of a, a typical history that you hear from a lot of all small companies. <coughs> it started with, uh, my father started it in a one-car garage in a uh, suburb of Des Moines. And uh, being a familiar, because he had worked actually with a competitor and decided to go out on his own because he had some better ideas and some other ideas how to and make product better than what they were doing and decided just to go out and totally start on his own, which is what he did, and then he quickly grew and uh, decided uh, he wanted to move back to Northwest Iowa because of their, unfortunately, he was in the small building, the Industrial Park in Des Moines, and they were having labor disputes with Firestone, and decided at that time he'd rather have a more friendly climate, so he wanted, originally was from Northwest Iowa, and decided he'd come back, and he liked Storm Lake, he liked the community, <coughs> and they, uh, got together with the city fathers and helped him build the original building, which that wall is actually one of the walls of the original building. Part of why when we do the tour, you all find out how confusing it is because we've added on to the original building eight times. <laughs> so besides the, the original building, adding on to the eight times and the bank building, we converted it into a sales office right outside the windows. And another building that we have on the other side of town for our shipping and receiving warehouse, you know, we've gone through a lot of various different stages. But uh, all that is, is part of... Uh, being aggressive with <coughs> being part of the water system industry that's a very big and growing concern so other than that on d detailed history i'm not sure what all you'd like to hear but other than uh we've gone through a lot and we've grown a lot and um so steve has doubled the business four times since it started here um and we're working on another one okay. so anyway it's all part of uh Growing within the industry, you try to do something new and develop and innovate and create new things that others don't have and they answer needs and problems. And uh, the more you can do that and the better you can do a better job at doing it, the more you're going to grow and the more you're going to end up uh, taking all those next steps to getting bigger and bigger and bigger and make it better for everyone, which is <coughs> one of the things we really try hard to do. So anyway, I'm not too sure of the next steps. If the next steps, we can start with our, our tours. We're gonna, because of the number of people, we thought we'd probably split it up into uh, three groups. We'd take uh, uh, five or six or seven to go over to the North Building. North Building is where we have a shipping and receiving warehouse. It's the old Cernet's department store that we converted into after they closed down. Uh, we converted it into our shipping and receiving warehouse. It's worked extremely well for us. And uh, then another group was going to stay in here and they have a little bit of uh, product education in regards to the, the type of items that we actually build and what we, what we deal with. 
and then a, another group was going to go in the plant to take a quick tour of the various different facilities of you know the various different departments of what it is and how we do what we do and then we'll come back and kind of alternate and everybody get a chance to hopefully get all three so that was our plan sounds great okay